Willie D. Live. Man, you about to go into a whole uh, sermon. I was like, man, I ain't brought no cash with me, but uh, <laughs> I got a card over here. Yeah. But, but man, look, man, hey, hey, what you got coming up, Chris? I appreciate you we, stopping I by. I appreciate show, you, man. Willie. Always, man. I, I um, my new project, Rebirth. I got a Christmas record musically. Um, media wise, I'm just formulating a new team and just trusting that divine appointment is happening, even even as we speak now. Um. And one of the things that you said really made me think because it made me really say, you know what, don't rush because this does have to be clever to work in business. And also when it does work, when do you notice that when somebody creates a model of ownership, somehow you don't hear about it no more? Somehow it's not as celebrated. And it's almost like there's a, a fake fish that they wave to you to say, hey, come get this. So now death row can turn into a glamorized retardation, which big shout to Snoop for trying to bring it back. But they took a guy who, like Marion Knight, Suge didn't even want to take pictures. And you put fame and fortune and the foolishness of this business around him, and they get usurped. Yeah. Then, you, then before you know it, your focus isn't on what you started. It's on all of this other stupid stuff. And you start going, hey, I'm around John F. Kennedy. I'm around this person. I'm around. And that's what makes you feel you. you you're nobody. You're not, yeah. You don't even know who you are. You, you, you mentioned Suge uh, earlier, and then you just mentioned him again. Um, and you talked about the downfall. Because I love him. When, when, when did you recognize, when did you start seeing, like, shinks in the armor? And you say, like, like, this ain't good, man. When Dr. Dre called me in Vegas, we were celebrating Mike Tyson coming home. We were all in Vegas. And again, me and Eric B. always being on the low. Big shout to my brother, Eric B. And Dr. Dre called me in my room and was like, told me the whole thing about, he told me the whole vision for Aftermath while he was still at death row. Now, I'm going to be honest and true. I love Dre. But unbeknownst to Dre, I had, again, slept with his wife. Before it was his wife, though. No disrespect to Dre. That's my like. That's my man. That's my man, 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 man. This but, won't be the first time he's hearing this. No, I'm sure he knows now because right. they're divorced. Because he's had to have heard that this girl that you know was first married to Liddell Freet was his name, number three from the Lakers Latrell. back in the sh so yeah. three was her first victim. But then, Spreewell, yes, his name. No, not Spreewell. His name was Three. Oh. He was number three on the Lakers. If you check the Lakers roster in the early 90s, oh. you'll see him. Okay. And he was on the team when Magic and all them was there. So we would go to the forum. This is how far back I'm talking. And again, she was a young girl. I don't know who she was. We just met. And again, like I said, 15 minutes later in my Range Rover, her feet are on my on the, the dashboard or whatever's going on. But the, the, the reason why I'm saying is that a lot of times there's a set of, and we all know this, they used to, we used to call them gold diggers, but now they treasure hunters. Where it ain't about who you are, it's about what you are. Biggie says in his records, like he, like he was basically saying, y'all used to say I'm black and ugly as ever, but what changed? Because I'm Gucci down to the socks? Now Christopher Wallace is beautiful to you. That's human nature. Unfortunately. So again, when people are always running to me with this false vanity, it's like, bro, I'm all right. I'm no, I'm no better looking than anybody else I'm looking at. It's who's looking. Because the truth is, I don't really want everybody looking at me like that. <laughs> I don't think yeah. anybody does. Yeah. And if you do, then you have a, a different personality as far as you, you need outer touch. I'm more into inner touch. I'm not worried about my outer core. Like, I look at my life like multiplication. People are like arithmetic. You either, when you multiply and add in my life, but when you subtract and divide, me and you are, we, I don't dislike you or hate you or anything. You're just not going to, we're not around each other. 